Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher and Anna and I were just taking our afternoon walk and we would thought we would do Charlie's intro video since Charlie is very busy over there with the ladies. That's Charlie. I don't know if you can see that far but that's Charlie on the left, Freya and Cammy. They're all hanging out by the water this afternoon. If you don't know who Charlie is, Charlie was one of the six original draft horses rescued from Bowie, Texas Livestock back in February. After having him for about two weeks, we found out that he has a problem um, eating hay. So Charlie's teeth were never tended to, so he doesn't really have a grinding surface to chew with. And then we found out too later on, um, after his third choke, that he has an abnormal esophagus. And basically what that means is that he has parts of his esophagus that don't completely close, so they can't move food down his esophagus into his stomach. So because of that, he can't eat hay, so we have him on an all mash diet. Last time that Charlie choked, it was a, a really bad choke, and it took the vet a couple hours to actually clear the choke. And she was actually very concerned that she wasn't going to be able to get the tube down far enough into his stomach to actually get the choke cleared. Uh, that's when they did the this the scope where they put a camera down inside to see what was actually going on with his esophagus and then that's where we found out he had an abnormal esophagus. Well in the process of this we decided that we didn't really think it was fair for him to be segregated from all the rest of the animals so we wanted to try to find a solution that he could still go out in the pasture and and be with all the other horses because he would stand in the barn and talk and nay and want to be with them and I don't think it's fair for him to be um, penned up for his entire life because that's really not living I believe that's just existing and that's not what we wanted for him so we needed to come up with a solution for him to be able to go out into the pasture but not be able to eat grass or hay so this video is about Charlie's grazing muzzle I found one the first one that I found was called a munch and done and the second one is kind of more a basket muzzle. So my goal is to try to see if this munch and done thing works on Charlie, but Charlie's not always so much fun to halt with. So, this will be an adventure in itself. <gasps> Waffles! Ho, ho. So Charlie sees the halter and takes off every single time. His back gate wasn't closed, so I had to chase him around a little bit to get the halter on him. He goes when he wants to. After chasing him for I don't know how long it was, we finally got him haltered and ready to go. So now I'm going to see if this munch and done. So this is supposed to be for non-grazing when they're in a halter. So I'm going to actually see if this fits him because I want him to be able to go out in the pasture with everybody else. And it's not fair for him to be stuck here all the time. This took a long time to adjust, but I finally got it adjusted to where it would sit on his nose. And I just wanted to see how it was going to work. I didn't know if this was actually going to stay on him or not. My biggest worry with this muzzle was that it was going to slide to the side and he'd be able to start eating grass if he could get it pushed off his nose. So that was my biggest worry with this muzzle. I did some more adjusting to try to make sure that it stays on his nose. I tightened up his halter a little bit as well. But the whole goal was to get this sewn into a halter if it was going to work out. What do you think? I need to see if he's going to paw at it or try to get it off. He's actually after flies right now. I just want to make sure that this is actually going to stay on him. And then we'll probably have to do some adjustments. 
Did a few more adjustments and then decided to take him out to the pasture area. All the other horses were still by the barn and he was really worried about where they were at and just kept looking back at him. So he really wasn't into taking a walk out in the pasture, but we were going to go try it out. I'm just going to take him for a little walk. He keeps looking back at the other horses. I know he doesn't want to go by himself. I know. You know where do you want to walk to? You want to walk this way? Come on. Since it took so long to get this munchin done actually on and adjusted, uh, Charlie was pretty much over it at this point and really didn't want to go for a walk. We did take a short little walk through the pasture and then the next day we tried it again. All the horses are kind of just hanging out right here. I'm going to take them down to the other gate. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Come. Come on, bud. Come on. Good boy. There we go. Such a good boy. Freya is walking out the gate right now. Charlie's not a super fan of hers, so I'm going to let her go first before we walk out there. Here comes Aline and Sophie. Good boy. Come on. Easy. 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 Good boy, Charlie. This is technically Charlie's first time being out in the pasture with all the horses again since his choke back a couple months ago. So I feel bad for him that he has to stay in all the time. So we're working on this grazing muzzle to see how he does, but I want him to have some time with the herd and I don't want him to always be stuck inside and not being able to roam around like a normal horse. So this is kind of what we're doing right now. Just want to make sure he's not going to try to get this thing off. And now that the other horses are out here, it's a pretty good example to see if he will try to get it off to graze. Good boy, buddy. It's like taking a dog for a walk, just a heck of a lot bigger. <laughs> He's a little bit alerted right now. I'm assuming it's because the donkeys are out here and he's never been out in the pasture with the donkeys before. So that would be me, I guess. But we're just gonna walk. Pretty much let him go where he wants to go. You happy to be out of your pen? I know. That's what I wanted for you is to be out of your pen and being with the herd. Don't wanna let Charlie off this lead because he is quite difficult to catch. He does not like to be in a halter. So that's another reason I wanted to test this out and make sure he was gonna be okay with, with wearing this and not trying to get it off his face. Cause if not, then I'm gonna order a different type of grazing muzzle. So he can be out in the, with the herd because it's not fair to him to always be stuck in, in a run. Such a beautiful horse. He's doing pretty good with it on so far. He's not trying to get it off. So that's a good thing. Oh, is that your nose? <laughs> You barely fit in the frame, buddy. Yeah. 
Are you a pretty boy? The one thing he did do a lot in this muzzle was twitch his nose, so I don't know if it itched or what the situation was, but it was really cute when he actually twitched his nose. So right next to Charlie is Sophie. On the other side of Sophie is Aline. I know, who's my good boy? Yeah, hey so. Easy, easy. So Charlie's good with all the other horses, but he wasn't really integrated with Freya, so I'm kind of keeping him away from Freya for right now, just because I don't want to take any chances of issues with her, but she's, she's over there on the other side of Aline. But Miley's coming out, and Cammy's coming out, and the donkeys are out here, and everything I wanted to do and accomplished is now in this field right now. Such a pretty boy. So now he's getting a little bit aggravated. He's trying to graze and he can't. <laughs> so I feel bad for him. But we've been out here for about an hour now. He's doing really good. Got pretty close to Freya there for a little while too. So many grasshoppers out here. Still not talking, I guess, after the incident at the vet. Lean saw him with the other horses, so apparently they're still not talking. <laughs> He's got some friends. You got a visitor, buddy. Oh. He's figured out that he can try to grab this now. He can pull the grass up through it. Obviously he can't eat it though. Charlie, no. Yeah. Come on bud, no. Come on. This was the testing process I wanted to try. I didn't know if this muzzle was going to work, if he was going to be able to get it off his face. And now the fact that he can actually still grab grass through the muzzle was a very big concern because I didn't want him biting off part of the muzzle and ingesting that because that would just be horrible. So this was a very successful walk out in the pasture today with Charlie's munching done. And we're heading back to the barn now. <laughs> Charlie objected to going back to the barn. He was not a fan of going back in by himself. So we definitely needed to find an option for him because I did not want him to be upset and wanted him to be in the pasture with all the other animals. I know. Good morning, everyone. Today's a very exciting day. I'm actually going to take Charlie out 
Um, with this new grazing muzzle, I bought this new basket style grazing muzzle. And I'm gonna go try it out. And we're gonna see if this works for him for out in the pasture. Cause I really think that he deserves to be out with the rest of the animals. And uh, we're gonna see how this goes. So Charlie's still out here with his grazing muzzle on. It was about 30 minutes. I left him out here for about 30 minutes with it on. So we'll test it out tomorrow again and see if uh, how he does in the pasture with it. Yeah, good boy. I'm gonna walk him just in the paddock area to start out just to see how this goes. Good boy. And that's Cammy. He likes Cammy. The main goal is to see if he can get grass through there, and it does not look like he can. He tried. So I'm really happy with the way this one fits. He is trying to get grass, but he cannot. That's what I wanted to see. And you can't get grass, so that's a good thing. Yeah, do we want to go out in the pasture? Want to go try it out? What do you think? Yeah. No, tell Cammy get out of the way. Come on, Charlie. What do you think? Okay. I felt confident with this grazing muzzle, so I took him off the lead just so he could have a little bit of freedom to test this out. I stayed out in the pasture with him just to monitor him and make sure that he wasn't going to have any issues with this muzzle, but I did just want him to have a little bit more freedom and be able to walk around without having the lead on him. He's shaking his head, I think, because of the flies. The flies and mosquitoes are actually really bad these days. Well, his last couple days. He was very interested in the trees with this grazing muzzle. I don't know if he was trying to get the muzzle off on the tree or what he was trying to do. Charlie did walk up to every single tree that we have on the property and scratch this muzzle across it. So I don't know if this is his master plan on how he's going to get this muzzle to come off at some point, but... He walked up to every single tree. So I tighten this, the head strap one more tighter. That looks that looks a little bit better. Probably been out here now about thirty minutes or so. He's doing good. He hasn't tried to get it off. He did try to rub it on a tree. But other than that, he's been doing good. After wearing this one for a little while, Charlie started pawing at the ground. He was really trying to graze, but I don't think he could figure out that he had a muzzle on and that grazing was just not going to happen. I felt bad for him, but he did figure it out eventually. But you can see he's got plenty of room inside there. His nose isn't hitting the front, and it fits good over the top of his head. I did tighten the top straps a little bit more. 
and loose than the side ones that went to the actual muzzle. So I think that fits a little bit better. I don't think he's a fan of it, but he doesn't really have a choice. <laughs> I think he's happy being able to walk around out here in the grass. He is sticking pretty close to Cammy. He hasn't ventured out, out with the rest of the horses yet. But maybe that's where we're headed. I don't know where he's planning to go. He's got an agenda today, I guess. So I'm gonna check him his muzzle again, just one more time. Make sure all the straps are secure. And leave him out here. Yeah. Get a little freedom today, bud. Yeah, you get some freedom. Yeah. Okay. Go make good decisions. This was just a short little clip of him getting a drink of water. He can't get his muzzle into the Richie waters because the opening is too small. So we put this bigger water tank outside for him because he can actually get his muzzle in there and apparently he doesn't want to share with anybody else. Miley does drool, so I mean, that might be why he doesn't want to share. Charlie's enjoying his freedom so much. The one morning I let him out and he was actually laying down in the pasture and I got scared. I didn't know what was happening, but I came out here and he was actually napping <laughs> and then he starts to roll around and he's just so happy with his freedom and that he can be out in the pasture with the rest of the herd. This was another morning I caught him out in the pasture, uh, rolling around on his back. The grass was wet and it was pretty warm morning, so I'm sure this felt great for him. He's just so happy being out in the pasture and this is what we wanted for him, to just have freedom and live a life of retirement and not have any worries. So Charlie was in time out for two days because he came in the other day without his grazing muzzle on. So I've tightened it up and adjusted some more straps and we're gonna go back out today because I don't think it's fair for him to stay in all the time while the other horses are out grazing whenever they want, so. I know I said he was doing well with it and I spoke too soon because he, uh, yeah, he came in with it out, without the other day, so I had to go find it out in the field. So we're gonna give it a go again today and we're gonna see how he does. Since that situation with him losing his muzzle, he hasn't lost it again, so we're very grateful that he's keeping it on. But this was just a beautiful shot of him running through the open pasture and thought I would share it with you. This guy does the craziest things. I was out taking pictures of the horses the other day in the pasture and he walked up to me because he got a piece of brush stuck in his muzzle. And he usually comes in too at the end of the day with all kinds of things stuck in his in his muzzle. He's He's quite the character. Charlie, what do we have in our muzzle today? What, what is this? What, what is that? What, what is that? I don't know how you do these things. Are you trying to eat that? Yeah? Are you trying to eat this? Did you want that? So we're very, very grateful that he's able to go out into the pasture with his grazing muzzle on and be with the other horses and explore and not have to be confined to a little tiny run all the time. We do still bring him in at night and he comes in for lunch. So we had just finished lunch and he's on his way back out. But Charlie is doing good. Thank goodness we are grateful. No more choking, no more situations. We keep him on his all mash diet. And obviously he gets to go out now and be with the other horses and we have an option for him. 
Thank you all again for watching this video and we truly appreciate your support. And thank you to everybody that is still sending us gifts of Alpha Pro. We truly appreciate it. The horses truly appreciate it and we're just overwhelmed by the support. We really, we really can't thank you enough. So um, like I said, I hope you enjoy this video and the updates will be coming soon. Thanks again for watching.